Howdy folks! Today we're playing the alpha version of Duster, a roguelite western where you have to fight your way across a random map while scavenging for supplies. All the time heading relentlessly west until you, well, fall into the sea I guess. And you're accompanied on this journey by a dickhead crow, possessed by the spirit of a murdered miner. It is a silly game. So I'm playing the paid alpha that you can get from itch.io, currently on version 0.0.7, but if you're quick there's a Steam preview demo that's available at the moment, literally just for a few days for free. Right so we're starting in the general store and we need to equip ourselves for our journey west. So we've got 200 quid, let's get ourselves a pocket knife. The shop isn't very well stocked at the moment, it's random. Um, you get the essentials but you also get some random extra stuff, this time we've got bugger all. We've got a couple of bandages, some matches, some water, a pick. We've also got the pocket knife for um, melee, and we've got some beans, some delicious beans. Bandages do seem to be quite important in this. And if, I'm, I'm playing the doctor character which gets a bonus for healing, which is handy. Now we need to also equip everything before we actually continue, so I'm going to put that on my X button, and the pick goes on my Y button. The pick can get or and it can also be used as an attack. So pocket knife, and pick. And we have to survive, so we have to watch our water. We can drink from a trough, or lakes, or barrels throughout. And you can also have a look around this town. We also need food as well. Don't stand next to the exploding barrel, you daft sod. There's a pub, and there's the doctor. At the moment we don't need any of this. Oh, there's a bog. I'm gonna blow up the bog. Yeah. Oh, there wasn't any money in there. There's sometimes money when things you destroy. Usually like one quid. I'm doing terrible, I can't destroy a single box at the moment. Get okay. there we go. There's a quid. There, that can go into the pot. One pound. A penny picked up off the ground is a penny saved. Right, we'll choose a path west on the map and beware of outlaws. There's a camel. Right, so we've got an FDL style map where we go from node to node. Uh, this is always very random. I mean, last time I played it, it was all just like loads of n grassland nodes. The time before that was loads of just desert nodes. This time we've got a villa and a forest. And there's also a question mark up ahead. So I kind of like want to go this route, if I go by the villa. Oh, there's another question mark. Oh, let's go this way. It deliberately obscures it a bit, but gives you enough hints to give you a suggestion of where to go. So let's have a bit of a look-see. Tonk and tonk. And there's also a rock I can pick up. This is my inventory, by the way. Not very much in the moment. I can't pick up that rock, apparently. Um, after a while, you do break into a run. There we go. That's more like it. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There's a there's a farmstead. Oh look, hello. There's some friendlies. If we can just get in. Oh bloody hell! I came the wrong way around here, didn't I? Oh, so it's, it's a sort of town. Only this time it's in a, in villa form. Watch out for outlaws. They're mean as heck. I don't think there's anything else we can do in the um the saloon at the moment. In this alpha stage. Yes, this is basically essentially just another town. Normally you don't find towns for quite a while on the map. Oh, we can, kill, we can kill the rat. The rat will give us meats. It'll also attack us, if we're not careful. So we can, the raw rat meat, we can either cook, or I think we can maybe pickle it as well if we get some brine. Let's just leave this place behind. Tonk! That was too easy. It certainly was. Right, let's actually go, oh, oh my god, we're forced to go to an outlaw camp next. We haven't got a choice. This is not going to be good. Uh, bottom left, very quickly noticed that. There is actually a day-night cycle in this. Oh, it's really hot. Uh-oh, I'm not quite sure how to actually cool down in this. But we will start to lose... Bloody hell, there's a lot of trees. We will start to lose health as a result of that. I'll pick up some wood, which is good because we can make a campfire and then we can actually cook that raw rat meat that we got. They'll they'll attack on sight. Yes, well, we can we can stealth our way like this, but we my 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 loadout I chose in the character creation um, screen. I didn't really choose for good sneaking. I think I chose for movement speed over sneaking. You can approach this game in several ways generally, like sneaking, shooting, or just running really. Uh, I can't actually get. Oh God, I don't really want to attack these lads. At the moment, well, they've got guns for a start, and also it is very hot, so I will be losing health if I don't get out of here or go inside or something. You can find, oh hello, some water there. Let's have a drink. Right there, had a bit of a drink. I just wanted to get out of there because that was just too hot. And we, oh, we could be up to a forest and we're also very close to that a question mark. Every time you do this movement you do lose water and food. And we're also getting closer to night. It is now kind of like evening time so you'll see the graphical effect 
of like um, dots all over the place to sort of sort of obscure your vision, but it's not too bad at the moment. But when it gets to actual night time, things do get a bit obscured. Excellent stuff. Uh oh, okay. So now let's try and let's try and fight. Oh, there's two of them though. Let's try and fight this guy. Wait for him to attack. This really can be quite tricky to actually time this, but. Oh, he's running away. Get him, get him, get him. They generally go down in three, and after two hits, they'll run away, and you can basically stab them in the back. Oh my god, well, there's, there's nine quid somewhere in the forest. There he is. Uh, the other guy might have some good loot. I'm feeling a bit brave because I've still got seven health at the moment. He's stuck in a tree. Pass it on. Huh! He did actually get me there. He's dropped a stick, but I don't want to get sticks. So oh, I've leveled up. Excellent. Let's go for. Max health. Sod it. Let's be a coward. My inventory's getting a bit fuller now. Um, what I might do next time... Well, I think we'll wait until it gets full night time. But what I can do is set up a campfire, cook all the um, stuff that I've been killing, and then I can go to sleep and then cycle it round to the daytime. Someone's already set up a campfire over there. But that looks like a bad guy. I can drink from that lake over there. Ow! Balls. Let's just kill him. I think I'm killing the tree. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not doing very well with the health, am I? Let's, um, let's bandage up. And because I'm the doctor, this will give you two health instead of one. So I can drink from here, but it might give me cholera. And I don't really need to at the moment, because I've still got plenty in reserves. I'd rather wait for a more reliable source of water. Anyway. We can find those. Right, he's, they're a bit tasty. There's two of them, so... I'm going to use my strategy of the old legget. There's a lot of trees here. Don't want the stick. I'm being chased by snakes. Let's... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ow, got whacked. Got walloped. Oh, he got poisoned by the snake. Ha! Happens to the best of us, mate. Oh, I picked up a sti um, bloody stick. Don't want a stick. Uh, and drop. And drop. Right. Now I need to find the exit again. Always to the west. I don't feel like we're going fast enough, says the lying crow. Ah! The question mark turns out to be another villa. Excellent stuff. That'll um, act as a... Well, we'll go to the doctors. Shit, there's a... That wolf is... Why is that wolf there? Die. We need to get rid of that wolf. Ow. Huh. There we go. Wolf meat. I don't like the fact that it's um, night time, so I'm going to set a fire going by combining that with that. Oh, the campfire's appeared over there. Okay. And I'm going to use to cook... Wait, where is it? We've got some rat meat. And we also got... Raw wolf meat. And we've also got raw snake meat. Excellent stuff. Now I'm going to eat. Because we've got 66 food. That'll take us up to 86. And we may as well go for a little bit of rat meat as well to take us up to 96. Now, sleep! Very fast sleep. A turbo nap there. Now, I feel a lot safer now. We're actually in the middle of the day can see what's what. Anyway, this is a villa, so we don't want to be going that way. If it was anything like last time, it's just a case of running down here. Hmm. One of these days I will actually manage to get some cash out of one of these, but not today, apparently. Take this! That bed's actually quite sturdy. Oh, what's that? Is that something? Oh, it's not. It's just a little blankie. Right, that's another bear. Oh, here we go! Doctor! How much are you going to charge me? Heal. Oh, I've only got 14 quid. And that's only for one health. Oh my god, Doctor. Scalper. That's disappointing. I'm not going to be able to raise six quid unless I go and kill some outlaws. I'm going to have a drink from the trough like a man. And again? There we go. Sorted. I could go to the general store, but 14 quid is not going to last very long, is it? Oh, dynamite! Also, more matches. That seems to be pretty much all we can afford. Um, uh, the dynamite might be a mistake. <laughs> a Chekhov stick of dynamite. Okay, let's go. There's nowhere else to go here. These are fairly straightforward areas. Let's move on. Let's get moving. So, one of the interesting things in this, we haven't seen it so far, I don't think, in this run, is how the wildlife and the outlaws will actually fight each other if the um if the enemies if the um if the if, if you've got like a bear or something they will go after the enemies um okay another forest 
It's been very... Uh, there's more water over there, but I don't think... I, I dare risk that. There hasn't been many kind of deserty biomes so far. Now, this is an abandoned... Oh, hello! Abandoned train. Ooh. Not quite sure what... Oh, here we go. Oh, interesting. In the buffet, re <laughs> rearranging the seats. There we go. Not quite sure what's... Uh oh Not quite sure what was going on there, but... <laughs> right. What was that? Huh. Okay, that was just... Some glitching going on. Right. I'm not sure what this, what this train's all about, because I've never been in... Um, I've, I've seen a train on a previous run, but then I, um, the game went weird. I ended up in a weird, endless void. Oh! Tr oh, okay. We haven't been in any mines yet. Um, you can mine loads of ore in those. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so if you do actually enjoy this um, and the rest of my videos, do check out my Patreon and my Buy Me A Coffee. I'll put the link on the screen and in the description. And you can support us finding all these cool little indie games out there. Right, so I've escaped best I could. Let's get out to the forest again. The plum, the what is it? The plumed periodical. Snow hazards ahead. Snow will snow down all movement. Holy shit! I've seen other random events uh, like um, there's wind that can just blow you around a lot. Ah, uh, there's some. Oh, good, I've got color out of that. But it looks like th these lads. Oh my god, these lads are actually quite tough. With their guns. What the? Oh, you shitty little snake. Oh, hang on. Do I have any venom cure? I don't. I'm going to bandage up anyway. Maybe I'll just drop some dynamite. Oh, you can... Oh, you can... Oh, interesting. Okay. Ha! Dicks. <laughs> well, I, I actually managed to mine the ore. Oh, but... Uh, 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 uh. I've got cholera and poison. Oh, bloody hell. How am I going to get past these lads? Hang on, let's let's try and go round if I can. I'm so slow, though. Ugh. I can't go that way. Okay. I'm going to try to sneak past them. But I'm not very good as... I'm, not, I'm just not a good sneaker. My stats are poor. Although, having said that, I've sneaked for so long now. Ah! <laughs> That's fine. I got completely invisible there. Look at that! You just bashed a beaver! Sounds rude. I've got one. I've got one elf. This is not good. I don't know what's... Uh, at least there aren't any cactuses to run into. Anyway, I've actually, I've actually completed the entire map. Holy shit. And now we're moving onwards to... Where the hell, wherever the hell this is. Oh, that's a world map and this is the local map. Oh, I see! Huh. This is this is as far as I've ever got. Oh, and this is as far as I am going to get, I think, because ow! <laughs> Shit! Beaten like a dead horse, survived one day. Score twelve seventy six, which I can put in the bank and do something with at some point. Ah, this is fu this is fun. This is it's it's very varied. Um, so it, for, for gateway, it just seem to be like running west constantly and. Um, it's there's there's lots to see and lots to discover, and I'll be uh, f fascinated to watch this as it develops. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, do check out my the rest of my stuff uh, and subscribe, click like, all the usual things, and I'll see you next time.